All right, I'm going down. I can't see anything. Except tic-tac-toe on my fucking screen. <laughs> <laughs> well, legit, I just want to play... All I want to do is play tic-tac-toe right now. What is going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with us today. We're playing some more Atlas and we're sailing the seas ever so ridiculously as we dance off our way through the Pacific or whatever ocean this happens to be. Hey, and getting nudged by mine and cringing at Rambo's facial here. Welcome to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with us. I am Nick. This is Nerd Parade. I have blood on my junk right now. I don't even know what's going on. Hey, you calm down. You're looking awfully wrinkly these days. We better find that fountain of youth real fast, or at least some winches. Thank you guys so much again for coming to hang out with us. If you saw the last episode of us messing around on Atlas, we had sunk a galleon in the, the, probably the, the most devastating way that you could sink a galleon. I mean, I'm still kind of like jazzed about it. But what we have here is a diving platform, and we're going to try to use the diving platform. It's our first time using one of these, we're gonna to try to use this diving platform to recover the remains, if there is any, of that galleon we obliterated. Thank you guys again so much for coming to hang with us. I jumped off the boat, but double intro, I am Nick, this is Nerd Parade, and thank you so much for coming to hang with us again. Climb up the ladder, always make me look bad. We got it. All right, well, here we go, we made it back up. Equip diving suit. All right, we're gonna try that, I just eed. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Uh, so you E on this thing and you're just instantaneously a big daddy. Oh, you, <laughs> you took it off of me. Mine. Oh, oh, dude, you, you are, a, you're a big daddy. Mm -hmm. So if I just come up to here and I hit this, we just, we could just. You, I, you, you made me go naked. I think we just figured out the most ridiculous way to troll our tribe members. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, wait, I, let me jump in the water and see if you can pull my suit off. Okay, I'm going in. All right, try to pull my suit off. Oh my god, you dick, I'm drowning! <laughs> okay, so if you really want to piss off your friends, whenever they're diving and sinking to the bottom, wait for, the get, for them to get to the bottom, because don't do it too, too early, and then just take off their diving suit through the ether that is the magic of Atlas. All right, we've all agreed to the honor system here that when, whoever gets the, in the water is not going to be killed by Angry Bob or anybody else trying to take off their suit. Okay, I'm back I'm back in Big Daddy mode. Did he just growl at me? What is he doing? It's hard for me to see. Yeah, I'm even in K mode. Oh, he's bowing at me. He appreciates that I'm making this ultimate sacrifice. Oh, God. This screen, though, is... But. All right, I'm going down. I can't see anything. Except tic-tac-toe on my fucking screen. <laughs> well, legit, I just want to play. All I want to do is play tic tac toe right now for some completely unknown reason as I'm sinking. Slow. Am I actually sinking? Okay, that's punch. It doesn't look like I'm sinking. Maybe it's just so deep that it doesn't look like it. Am I already on the ground? Oh, you're way down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah? I'm swimming down to you right now. Oh, hey, Jackie. Hi. Okay, are you still going down? Because it doesn't look like I'm going down fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm descending. I'm descending slow, though. You can just hit C yeah, and I go can, down. Oh, is I it? Can Seriously? Swim faster than you can see it down. Yeah, C is actually working. Not C. C. Not C. C. That sounds super weird. Okay. <laughs> Nobody draw attention to that. That, that sounds... I am seeing now with the keyboard, and I'm going descending mode, and you can tell by Jackie's name, like, the... what it looked like with it and without it. Oh, I found the ship! Uh, for a second. Nice. I see it. Barely. I found a jellyfish. Through Tic Tac. <laughs> You're not gonna last very long. Nope. Uh, well... I'm not gonna lie... Yep, there goes Jackie. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's not a lot here. <laughs> I'm demolishing, like, two planks. All right, I got it. So if you sink a ship, it's maritime law. You can, if you get to it first, you can claim it. And that's kind of what we're doing here. I just broke everything. 
We're the is first there ammunition people. box or anything? That's what I'm I'm looking for a bag. The the bags are like what 30 minutes? I think I would, so. I would yeah, I would hope. I'm getting a ton of resources just by demolishing the planks though. I mean what you would get demolishing it normally. Okay, there's a deck. It's just so hard to see. Realism is something. Oh, oh I found a I found a briefcase. Do I take the, the diving suit off? Oh please god no. I can make you I, see I think better. We should. Oh no, we got I think we should. Demolish allowed. That's super weird. Okay, so I got the ammo container. It decomposes nice. in five minutes. And it's a briefcase and it's locked due to ORP. Off what? Offline damage prevented. I it says demolish allowed, but I cannot get into it. I can't get into the briefcase. So I mean, I think we just got early access, but we can demolish what's left of the ship. We can't get the cannon balls. Whatever was left of the cannon balls. Everything else we've pretty much destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm salvaging little bits and just really squinting from the tic-tac-toe screen. All right, let me see if I can get the rest of this stuff and we'll get back up. Now that we're back from our deep sea diving adventure, we really didn't get much other than just a bit of scraps. We've been bitten once again by the building bug. We're going crazy with all the ship build ideas and we're going to be building our next ship with you guys here today and I'm super excited for it. And we've already picked out a perfect name. Marnie, you ready for the perfect name that I picked out for the ship? No, no. What's it going to be? I'm pretty sure that I'm going to do a full episode on just ship names at one point. <laughs> like, if you're in need of a ship name and you're trying to think of something fun or funny or witty or whatever, we've got you covered. But don't worry. This ship, once it's launched, is going to be named the Rum Guzzler. <laughs> Okay, okay, all jokes aside, we are going to call it the Rum Guzzler, but for now, we're working on a build that will complement the twins. Now, when you see this, you're probably going to shit, because I didn't realize it was actually possible until we kind of stumbled upon it, so I'm really excited to talk about it and show you guys what we're working on with the Rum Guzzler. So, you've seen the twins. Left side, right side, there's no front side or back side until you meet the Rum Guzzler. So we have a full row here of cannons, but this is pretty mundane. This isn't exactly what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Oh, look, more cannons. Let's keep going down. Oh, look, more cannons. Oh, and we've got swivel cannons that we can f put fire ammo because fire is ridiculously OP in this game. Oh, look, more spots for cannons. We've kind of figured out a way to build down from the ship. So the entire front side of the ship is going to be decked out in cannons. We're going to ramming speed people, use the swivel cannons that will be manned by NPCs with flame rounds, have cannons in the makeshift cannon ports that we're known for making, and we're continuously outbuilding ourselves. Like, I always make that a goal in the Nerd Parade community and within the Nerd Parade videos, is we always try to outbuild ourselves and make something full-on ridiculous. And we will have something full-on ridiculous. Ooh, I fell off. With the Rum Guzzler. <laughs> it's going to be... I mean, it already looks awesome. So that's as far out as you can go. We can only go three out from the point of the... What is it? The, it's not the mast, but whatever. I forget the nautical term, but the very point front end of the ship. You can only go three out. But then we discovered we could also go down. What we're going to be for sciencing is how deep we can go and still be effective. Now, these last two, I'm a little skeptical about. Uh, I see you I see you winded up over there. You actually would have hit me if I wasn't in the water. That's impressive. With these last two, mine thinks we can go with another one down for a total of six down. I think it's going to hit the water and it's going to prevent the NPCs from firing the cannons, but we're going to science that out today. We're going to see how low you can go on this, and then if you can't go that low, we're going to compensate by going up higher. We're kind of going to build both with you guys here on cam today. So, I hope you're excited. And this is, like I mentioned earlier, this is something that we've both been really bitten by, is the building bug. Uh, while we adventure off, and we do have tons of, like, progression to do, we've been so fascinated and captivated with building ridiculous ships that we keep getting very, very distracted. Now, this ship 
is an odd design anyway. You'll notice that everything is very sunken in. It's because it's minus a deck. We actually left, it's two decks, right? I think two or three. Two or three decks had been left off of this boat. And a couple episodes ago, I mentioned that we were working on something to confuse targeting AI of NPCs when firing cannons. It seems to be that NPCs firing cannons favor or prioritize targeting the mid-level of gun ports on a ship. We've noticed that most of our gun ports are the ones taking damage, and the planks, if there are planks surrounding them, tend to come out unscathed. So we're going kind of big with this test ship. We're trying to run it without some planks. We're running it without gun ports. I'm sorry, without decks. We're running it without gun ports, only, only planks. And a lot of things are going to be tested on the ship. Now, to add to that docket, we're going to be testing the front wall o cannons, which is going to be pretty interesting, I think, indeed. So we have basically a below deck, no upper deck. We're just going to try to confuse the AI targeting mechanics of other cannoneers as best as we possibly can. So let's kick off some of the building stuff here. Mine, I know you've been working on this side, so I'm going to go check out what your business is over here with these spirally staircases. Oh, and I'll add two. I'll add a little flavor. I'll help you out because I got the walls on me. We're going to do half wall, and then we're going to do our makeshift cannon door frame thing. And I like to put the windows down here just so that nobody can really easily shoot our NPCs. I know it's a window, they could shoot through it or whatever. It looks nice. Here's what the front is looking like now. We're gonna attempt to build a little bit more down from this fifth one onward once the ship has already launched. We're not gonna risk going down anymore, maybe blowing up the resources when they touch the water, or worse, exploding the cannons if we were to place them. So we're gonna attempt to do that part once it's actually underwater, because we know that where we've stopped on the fourth layer, it will remain above the water almost at all times, because that's where the gun ports would be. So we're, we're feeling pretty safe with it. But we are going to attempt, as best we can, to go as low as we can on this ridiculous build. Now, what I'm going to do to compensate for that is go up higher on our build. And we're trying to get 75. We're looking for 75 to kind of be our key number, since 80 is... 80, between 80 and 86 is what we have on each side of the broadsiders. So if we can manage to, fucking hell, if we can manage to get that much in a frontal assault as well as the left side and then the right side with Southpaw, with Broadsider, and Rum Guzzler, it's just devastation. It's all around devastation. I'll be here, oh, you un you were so kind that you unbullied me. I was gonna say, I'll be here for the next 30 <laughs> seconds as we wait, but let's build a... Our, our next level. Let's build our... Oh, you've already got it prepped. Dude, capital job. All right. There's a ceiling. There's a ceiling. And boop, there we go. The only thing that's kind of sucky about the build is when we have to go down, we have to crouch on these spiral little staircases. However, I prefer them than to interacting with some kind of ladder. I very much like those. So if you're looking to recreate this build for yourself because you think it is super awesome, and it really is, that's up to you. That's your flavor. I like the uh, spirally staircases. So, mine, do you think four up? Since we're kind as of going... As high as we can go. Oh, really? What is as high as we can go? Let's test that out here for science. There's one, two, so that's three total. There's four, and can't place above ship boundaries. So we can go only four up, but we can go more than four down. Oh, nice. I, I like what you did there. That's actually really cool, because it eliminates the spirally staircase. Yep. Capital job there, buddy. I'm going to lay the win uh, the makeshift cannon ports and the door frames. There was something interesting that we discovered. You can't place a normal wall up here, but if you cut it down to a half, it'll actually let you. So it seems the highest point is four and a half walls, in case it might make any difference. So we've gussied this up a little bit, made it look really nice, and we've also enclosed these guys so that we're not going to fall out every time we go down. You still have to crouch to avoid hitting your head on the ceiling. But you're not going to fall out every time you need to come down. And it's also kind of nice. You can see you can look out with the windows. And you've got the flame guys still right there in front. So now comes the big test. Should we continue to build downward? Or are we going to lose what we've placed when the ship gets released into the water? Is it going to break in some spectacular form? I'm ready to test it. How do you feel, mine? Are you ready to test the rum guzzler? Let her go. Okay, we're going to let her go. Release the ship. This is going to be kind of a 
not so it's going to be crew intensive but not as intensive as the broadsider or the southpaw so we plan on probably increasing sturdiness and weight we want to make this guy fast so that it can catch up to fleeing ships and blast their ass okay releasing rum guzzler rum guzzler you know i'm having second thoughts let's name it rum dumpster <laughs> Okay, Rum Dumpster. It's much better than Rum Guzzler. Rum Dumpster. This is oh, this is way funnier. Oh, we accidentally make things hilarious every time we do something. It's uh, it's just the nerd parade way of how we go. <gasps> this is a wall that shouldn't be. We must demolish this wall that shouldn't be. We must fix. It should be a corner wall thing. I placed haphazardly. Is that going to line up all nice? Oh, okay, great. Uh, I'm jumping out. This is what we wanted to see. Oh, it's not that bad in the water. I think we can put a cat in there. We'll see. What about below? I see they might drown, but... Well, yeah. <laughs> will our <laughs> will our NPCs drown if we <laughs> if we hit a tide or something? Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> that's... You know, that's going to be really funny. We're going to have to keep an eye on the tribe log because the second somebody, like, dies and we're like, Oh, no, what happened? Drowned. <laughs> oh, shit. No, that'll be highly amusing. This is going to get harder and harder to do. Uh, we want this one not at an angle. Okay. Now, it, I know someone's going to say, why aren't you picking up your doorway? Oh, re you can pick it up. These are, We're using all of our tiered structures on the ship. And if you pick it up, it gives you a common one back, as if it was never crafted. So at least we're getting some resources back when we break it. That's why we're demolishing the tiered structures. It doesn't recognize that, oh, this was a, a blue tier, which is journeyman. This was a journeyman wood wall. It doesn't recognize it. So I, just in case someone's out there like, ah, oh, nerd rage. Wee! I, I figured I'd explain that for you. And last one. Okay. We're good. We're good. I'm surprised it didn't break. I'm slightly <laughs> surprised. Not going to lie to you. Let's switch this over. Oh, I had I had window wall. I did it again. I do that. I get too overzealous. Boop and boop. Okay, we'll just go ahead and build down here to protect. Nice. And from the butt side. Oh, you already got it. Thank you for picking up what I was putting down. This is exciting. This is really exciting and really, really ridiculous. It didn't all bust when we put it in the water. Now all we have to do is get some cannons and some crew, and we can see what the rum guzzler slash rum dumpster. I like. I think rum dumpster is funny. What the rum dumpster can do. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where we're gonna leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're excited for the rum dumpster. Yeah, we're mid midway through the video, we're renaming it. Can I make it? Okay, I made it. Midway through the video, we're renaming the ship, but. It's going to be a ridiculous one. And we always try to outbuild ourselves in Nerd Parade. And <laughs> I think we've succeeded today. What does that even look like from the helm? I have to check it out. I have to. I know I'm fat because I've got a bunch of building materials on me. But I just got to take a look at it. This doesn't look like any, sh any ship that should be sailing in any type of sea. But it's the ship that we have built Oh, so ridiculously. <laughs> Rhyming is on point. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you like this episode, like I said, smash the thumbs up button for us. Let us know that way. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the page for some more cool videos. Or don't. Who the fuck cares? What do I know? But most importantly of all, I want you to remember to take care of yourselves out there, guys. Stay awesome. And we'll catch you in the next ridiculous great episode. Bye.